Welcome everybody, you found the Grow Bench here at First Class Gardens. I wanted to go over strawberries with you today. Um, here in Ohio it's late December and, I'm sorry, early December actually, but it's late in the fall and we're starting to see our strawberries go dormant. It's been pretty mild, so normally I would have done this probably before Thanksgiving, but since it's been so mild, I could do it now. And I don't ever like to split my strawberries in the... Uh, in the spring. I don't want it to disturb the the fruit that's coming up. So I always do it in the fall and now would be a good time to do it right before they start to go dormant. Um, here's a strawberry plant here. It's a vine. It's going to run shoots out and it's just going to spread over time. And strawberries actually spread really quickly. Uh, we've got a nice strawberry patch here on the farm and um, these were split actually. These plants were split after we harvested the strawberries so that probably would have been like in July sometime I'm thinking and this one's already looks like it's already doubled itself so I'm gonna pull one of these out here and I'm gonna show you how easy it is just to split your look at those roots already I'll show you how easy it is to split the plants. They're very easy to work with um, all I'm going to do is just kind of break down this root ball. There's two eyes here. Um, I shouldn't say eyes. There's two crowns. I can just kind of peel off the top and show you guys this. You can see that in there. So we've got two crowns that I can see. So that's actually two plants. We can split those right down the middle. And with one plant that we found and we split in July, we actually will have two now already. I'll lay this on here so I can peel back this dirt for you and show you what I'm talking about. So this kind of just loosen up the soil if you're digging up from a shovel, just loosen the soil around the roots. Um, I like to use like a five gallon bucket and just dip it in the, the water there. It cleans off the roots really well. And look, <clears throat> I don't know if you can see this or not, but I'm actually just pulling this part right now. So there's the two crowns two crowns are right here and I'm just gonna kinda gently pull and tug the, the roots are intertwined so just be gentle we've got two strawberry plants that were sitting there so one turned to two in a couple months pretty cool so that's all we do is we just separate those you can put them in your rows uh, put them in pots if you want I like can see these are actually starting to uh, huh, this is a mini strawberry right here They're actually starting to flower again so isn't that funny Alright, so that's how we split the strawberries. They are vines, like I said. They're just going to kind of put out shoots. They're going to root off the shoots, and then they're also going to start to multiply. Um, so, really cool fruit. It's a good fruit. I love strawberries. Everybody does. So, hopefully you guys enjoyed this part of the video. Stay tuned. I'm going to get into how we start our seeds and kind of the care of the strawberries. So. All right guys, we're getting into our seed starting methods here and we're gonna transition into our coffee filter method to seed germination. And if you guys have already watched that video, this is gonna be a repeat of that. This is what we prefer for our strawberry seeds since they are so small, those roots will be digging into the paper towel. So instead of having that and being monotonous there, um, the coffee filter provides a little bit extra durability for starting our seeds out. So let's transition over to that video. Welcome everybody, you found First Class Gardens here on YouTube. We're going to go over our coffee filter method to seed germination. Coffee filter works well as an alternative to paper towel. Paper towel tends to tear and the roots dig into that paper towel. The coffee filter is just a little bit more durable. You don't have a lot of those issues, so it works great. Uh, we're going to use daylily seeds today. You're going to go ahead and put your daylily seeds inside, or it's your seed of your choice. We're going to fold it into fours. We always like to label our Ziploc bags, so um, so with the date we're using seeds from God's in this fight this video and we're going to show you guys the results here of a couple weeks sitting inside a warm location doesn't necessarily need sun or light just a warm locations for those seeds to start to germinate so let's inspect seeds look great actually a couple weeks in and they're ready to be transplanted into pots so let's get into the solution that we like to use for this 
and I hope you guys do check back and make sure you do leave a like. Comments down below, and we'll see you guys in the next video. All right, let's go through some of the items that we're going to need for today. We're going to need a bottle of water, some topical hydrogen peroxide. You can find at any drugstore. All right, let's get right into it. First thing you're going to do is open your bottle of water. You're going to dump out a little bit of the top there. Okay, and then what we're going to do is we're going to take our hydrogen peroxide here. We're going to fill the cap. I'm going to fill that up. Slowly. Okay, there it is. And then you're just going to take this cap full and you're going to dump it right into the bottle of water there. And then you've got your solution.